back for another video with the same shirt on. Um, I don't think Briley wants to join us in this one, but she is here. She, you just can't see her. And Eleanor's here too, but she's not chewing on the, uh, the chair this time. Um, so I'm doing like a birthday, Christmas book haul. Um, two of the books I didn't bother to bring over here for this video, so I'll have to insert them, um, somewhere, but... Barnes & Noble also had a sale during this time, and I also grabbed some books with a gift card that I got for my birthday, so I will include those in this as well. I'm not 100% what order these books are all in, but we're going to hope they're here. But the first two, my friend Haley gave me... Um, that I didn't bring over here. One was Pretty as a Picture, which I will insert somewhere on the screen. And then the second one was um, To Kill a Mockingbird because my copy got ruined when my air conditioner back there flooded and drenched the carpet in the middle of moving. So that was fun. Um, just discovered that another book actually just got, um, or another book that I have got ruined. So now I have to go buy another copy of it. But um, other than that, those are the two that she got me. And I thanked her so much, but I'm gonna thank her here as well. And then we're gonna dive into this because it sounded really heavy when I picked it up, right? All right, so I um, have a local-ish, well, it's kind of local, um, used bookstore where I can trade in. So, I just took some of mine and traded them in. They didn't take all of them, but they took some of them. So I got $9 worth. And then I had a $3 coupon for my birthday. So I used that plus my trade-in. So I thought that was pretty good. They gave me $9 for the stack that they did take. And then I got $3 off. So I got $12 off of my 12-12 birthday. And the lady that work, owns it thought that was really funny. So the first one I got is I Found You by Lisa Jewell. Um, it's not one, not a Lisa Jewell book that I have seen before. And I read this, you know, the synopsis on the back and whatnot. And it sounded really interesting, even though I haven't read any of her books. So I don't know why I grabbed it, but it just, it didn't have the cover that looks familiar. And then I grabbed a hardback V.C. Andrews book. It is um, Hidden Jewel by V.C. Andrews. And I have quite a few V.C. Andrews that are mass market paperbacks, but I'm not a huge mass market paperback person. Um, they just, I don't know, they're like too small for me. So I didn't, so I think I traded a couple of those in and then I bought hardbacks. And I know that I traded a mass market paperback of this one in, which is um, The Darkest Hour by V.C. Andrews. And then this book was on my Amazon wish list, and then they had it for a pretty good price. So I got it, and it is The Photographer by Mary Dixie Carter. Um, and so I had to remove it off my wish list since I decided to go buy it for myself. Um, I remembered what this was about when I added it to my wish list. Um, I think it is a mystery thriller. Um, I'm not 100% sure, sure what it's about though although I really like their bags I don't know why but they're just like kind of cool so okay, so these two I got for Christmas from my parents and so the first one is um the secret lives of church ladies by Deisha Deja Deisha Deisha um Phil y'all Phil I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name so I'm not gonna butcher it but I think it's Phil y'all um, I saw this on Noelle Gallagher's channel. She read it and said that this was like hilarious and the way she talked about it just really made me want to buy it. So I put it on my Amazon wish list, and then I got it for Christmas. So that's how that one worked. And then this one is the second book to a series that I di didn't bother to tell my mother was the second book to a series because I didn't know that she bought it. Um, but a girl that I went to high school with wrote this, so it's Counter Ops, and the first book, I'll insert a picture of here, um, I have to buy, but she wrote this, and she, my mom ordered it from Amazon, so now I have to, like, go get her to sign it, and then I can read it, 
and then I can have a fun time. And then I got an Amazon, not Amazon, what am I talking about? I got a Barnes and Noble gift card. And so I had to go treat myself like right before. Did you have an announcement? She did. And Eleanor went with her. My dad must have come up the driveway. So anyway, um, I went and used my gift card. And so I grabbed The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Cower and Swimming Lessons by um, Lily Reinhardt that you can't see because it's glaring. And then I got I'd Die for You and Other Lost <clears throat> Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, I don't, I don't, I haven't read a lot of F. Scott Fitzgerald, but I'm trying to. Um, so I have read The Great Gatsby, of course, but uh, I own a couple other of his books that um, I haven't read yet, but I do like his writing style, so I would like to read them sooner rather than later. So hopefully I'll get to them eventually. And then Barnes & Noble had their half off hardbacks sale, so I had to go. And now I think I'm gonna have to move this down here. And then I guess I have to move these up here. So, you know, I was not as coordinated with this as I should have been. Oh, wow. I didn't know that that book was that small, like, compared to, like, a regular-sized paperback. Interesting. So, here. Yeah. Was this, like, old YouTube just setting it up here? All right. So, um, the first book that I grabbed, which we just discussed with this author... Uh, the first book I grabbed during the 50% off hardbacks sale, this isn't even a hardback, but I grabbed it, is Tender as the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, it was the last copy of this book that Barnes & Noble actually had, my, my local one, so I, um, I grabbed it. Because I was eyeing it the other day, or the day that I went to use my gift card, and I didn't get it, so... Now I have it. And so I got um, Cold Hearted by Serena Valentino, which is part of the, um, the Disney, oh, the girls are back, the Disney Villains series. And so I've been wanting to read some more of these. And this one is the, this one is the Evil Stepmother from Cinderella and when I picked this up I thought it was the um Evil Queen from Snow White so I kind of goofed but I didn't have it either way so and then I also got Evil Thing which is about Cruella DeVille oh hi Eleanor you're not all the way in the camera girl nobody can see you nobody can see you So, um, Cruella DeVille, which this one's thicker than the other, um, one that I have read. My favorite thing about these books, I didn't do this on the other one, is the, um, when you remove the dust jacket, it's got the other picture underneath, which is why I always try to go for the hardcover. I think the paperback has it as well, but I just, I don't know. I think I just prefer the hardbacks of these. And this one has the key, her with the key. The stack might be getting too high. And so the next um, one I grabbed during the sale is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I actually don't know what this one is about, but I probably wanted to chime in. I don't know what this one was about, but I have, I'm in the middle of reading um, Clap When You Land. And I like her writing style and all of that. And it's... Oh, this one's not written in verse. Nice. But the other one is written in verse. And I think Poet X is also written in verse. So I, um, I grabbed this one. Don't know what it's about, but it's gorgeous. And it was by Elizabeth Acevedo. So I grabbed it. Um, the one book that I went in there to find 
which because they were half off was Homebody by Rupi Cower, but somebody had bought like all 10 copies that I had seen the other day. So it wasn't there. So the next book that I got is um, The Night Swim by Megan Golden, which she also wrote The Escape Room that I own and haven't read. Um, so I didn't know that until I bought this book. But this is about um, True Crime Podcast. One woman owns a true crime podcast. And yeah, so she goes to a small town. Okay, yeah, this, this is the small town that had the rape trial and the whole thing. And she, she's got the um, true crime podcast. So she goes there to kind of be involved in XYZ. Um, did you want to chime in? Raleigh's playing with a squeaky toy. So, um, they had a couple of paperback copies of this, but I grabbed the hardback because it was the same price, ultimately, as the hardback, um, or as the paperback, and then I grabbed, I think that, I'm not 100% if this goes to a, um, a series or not. Brawley. I'm not 100% if this goes to a series or not, um, You'll Be the Death of Me, uh, by Karen M. McManus. I have a couple of other of her books. And I know that there's some that go together or there's like a series, like duologies um, of hers and they're standalones and all that good jive. Yeah, this stack is getting a little ridiculous. And then the final book that I grabbed, which was technically the first book that I grabbed when I went into Barnes & Noble, The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green and it's a signed edition. I didn't even look to see if it was actually signed. Oh, it is. Um, I guess this is, um, I don't guess, I mean, I'm, I'm reading what it is. This is Essays on a Human-Centered Planet is what the tagline says. So this is a, a collection of his essays rather than, um, like the other books that he writes, such as Fault in Our Stars, Abundance of Catherine's, Paper Towns, XYZ. Um, I have not read Turtles All the Way Down by him. So I don't actually know what that one was about, but um, grabbed this one to add to my John Green collection. Um, that is all the books that I got this season. I'm sure I'll be back with another book haul considering I just did an unhaul and then brought a bunch of books home. But um, I'll see you again next time with another video.